you must be wondering what you would do as part of your first assignment. So here it is. We're going to complete the remaining two pages in our um, Ionic app. We had the About Us and the Contact Us, which we hadn't completed in the exercises. So your task is to complete these two pages. So as part of your first assignment, your first task would be to go in and fix up the Contact Us page. Now here in the Contact Us, I want you to only display the address and um, the three buttons here and in the form of a card. Now in this case, uh, I will provide you with the address information. Um, in the form of text and you need to format and then display the address like this here and um, the three buttons we're going to make use of the buttons support in ionic i'll provide you the link to the ionic css um, documentation where the buttons are described here i am using in ionic terms what we call as a button bar to display the three buttons here. This is similar to what we did in the Bootstrap um, course. We used a button uh, group there in order to display the three buttons side by side. So in Ionic's case, it's called a button bar. So you're going to make use of the button bar for this purpose. Here, for the color of the three buttons, this one is button positive, button calm, and button balanced. Now, in here, you see me using the icons. So these are Ionic's icons. So uh, I have provided you with the link to Ionic's uh, icons list. Look up the three icons that I have used here and then use these three icons in your buttons here. So that's your first task, completing the contact us. We don't include the feedback form in the contact us page. Instead, we'll have another way of doing that in the second module. Your second task in the assignment is to complete the About Us page. In the About Us page, you will have one card which contains the uh, history of the restaurant. So I will provide you with the text for the history. So you need to fill that in. If you are coming from the previous Angular and Bootstrap course, you already have this information with you. So you can either use the information that we had in the previous course, or you can use the text that I provide for you to format the history. Below that, we have the corporate leadership. I am using a list, list inset for formatting this um, information about the corporate leadership. Note in particular how the um, images are being displayed and how the information is displayed here. So we have a, a corporate leadership heading there and the three or the four leaders information being displayed here. Now for this, you need to go and fix the about controller so that you can access the information from the server site for constructing these. We have already constructed our server. So from our server, we will be able to retrieve this information. So three tasks. First one to complete the contact us. Second one to complete the about us. And in process of completing the about us, the third task would be to go and fix the controller about the, the about controller and the app.js so that this information is properly displayed in the page here. So this completes your very first assignment. You get to explore some new features of the Ionic framework, especially the CSS classes of the Ionic framework. The links to the CSS classes that I used for this are provided in the additional resources as part of your first assignment.